welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on the balance of payments on current account. The balance of payments is the record of all international financial transactions made by the residents of a country. The balance of payments is divided into three main categories, the current account, the capital account, and the financial account. In GCSE economics, we only discuss the current account. To give you an idea of those other two before we move on and look at the current account in more detail, the capital account is where all international capital transfers are recorded. The financial account is where international monetary flows related to investment in business, real estate, bonds and stocks are all documented. The balance of payments on current account consists of four key areas. The trade in goods, the trade in services, income flows and transfers. In the UK, it's been very common to have a deficit balance of payments for a long time, as you can see from this chart. The trade in goods and services refers to the difference between the amount of goods and services exported and the amount imported. The UK tends to have a trade deficit on goods and a trade surplus on services in recent years, as you can see in this chart. Income flows happen when UK residents earn interest on investments they have abroad or when foreign nationals receive interest on investment that they have in the UK. Transfers refer to money that's sent to other countries without receiving anything in return. This includes foreign aid and money that's sent home to family from relatives that are working in a different, normally more affluent country. If the net result of all four areas is exactly zero, then we have a balanced balance of payments on current account. If we end up having more money coming into the country than going out, we have a surplus balance of payments on current account. And if we have more money going out of the country than coming in, it's a deficit balance of payments on current account. If we look at this example, you can see how we calculate the balance of payments on current account. So country A has 350 million worth of imports in goods, but they export 200 million worth of goods. This is a net of minus 150 million worth of goods. When it comes to services, they import 100 million worth of services, but they export 400 million, a net positive of 300 million. When it comes to income flows, there's more money going out to people that are foreign investors with investments in country A than there is money coming in from investments that people in country A have in the rest of the world and that's a 20 million net loss. When it comes to transfers, country A is giving out 25 million, but they're only receiving back 5 million. That's a net deficit of 20 million. Overall, the balance of payments on current account when we add them all together is a positive 110 million for country A. That brings us to the end of this video introducing the balance of payments on current account. Join me in the next one when I'll be looking at how to analyse the importance of the balance of payments on current account to the UK economy. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics and until next time, it's bye for now.